Hey, what's going on guys? Today we got something very cool to check out. It's the Mechatro Evangelion crossover kit here. The first of them anyway. This is the Zero Goki with the tiny little cute Ray figure with that as well too. So this is the uh, 20 Mechatros, that means it's the 120 scale Mechatro kit. Uh, we previously taken a look at a different one, which was also a collaboration with Frame Arms Girl, was the last one that I reviewed for you guys. But this one is basically just, it's in Evangelion Zero colors, and it's got some markings on it to give it all that kind of Evangelion looking uh, marking on it. And then you got a little Ray figure in there as well too. It looks very cool. And this is the first of a series of them. There's an, also a Zero Two. Asuka version that's coming out as well too, and I don't know if they're gonna make a Shinji one as well, a Zero One. It seems like they kind of maybe would have to make a, a Zero One themed one as well too, but they're going for the girl characters first, of course, because of course. So uh, let's check out the Zero Goki and Rei. So starting off with this beautiful box art on here, as always, the artwork for the Mechatro kits uh, box art is fantastic. So we've got the big 20 Mechatro there all decked out in Eva Unit Zero color styling, but then in the background you've got all this cool imagery, like all related to Avia Unit Zero. you got entry plug there, you've got the glasses, you've got the uh, missile up there, you've got some bandages over here, of course, gotta have the wrapped bandages, uh, the energy cable, the umbilical cable, I should say, uh, of course, the Lanch of Longinus there, and some other things that I'm not really quite all, like some strawberry pie over here, like an abacus, these kind of things I guess are just kind of somewhat related to Rey, I don't really know. And then our Rey character there is a child form. I don't know what that's supposed to be in her hand, I'm trying to figure out, it's supposed to be like a yo-yo or something? I don't know, but it doesn't seem anything related to the actual series, I don't remember her ever having a yo-yo in a series, so that's kind of odd. Just going on to the bottom of the box there, it is uh, just like kind of with a white background. On the opposite side, it's just in English with a orange background, so it's kind of cool. I like how they do that for these boxes. Uh, English on one side and Japanese on the other. On this side of the box here, just highlighting the easy assembly. Of course, it is just all snap fit. You don't need any glue or anything. For the kit itself, anyway, this glue is needed for assembly of the children figures. I wonder if those are all gonna also be included with this like they usually are. And just read a little caption there for that image for you guys. It says, Rei Ayami, an image of an elementary school student, is drawn by Keiichi Arawi. Uh, the figure is made of resin, so it'll be a little resin kit you get included with that. You got the nerve markings for that for Zero Goki. I have a little caption here too. Hurry up not to be late for school, Zero Goki. Very fun. And over here, just some information about the model. Model height, 131 millimeters, etc, etc. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right into it. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to come with any actual, like, Evangelion weapons or anything like that, which would have been really cool if it would have come with other, some other sort of accessory. Basically, it's just the same 120 scale kit in different colors. Really, the only thing new is just the Ray figure there, so we'll take a look at all that stuff here in just a second. Let's just go ahead and look at the manual here. You got the same artwork here on the manual. Very cool. This would be nice as something just to put up on your wall. That's just some cool artwork. I like that quite a bit. Around here on the back side, a little bit about where to place the decals on this. So you got decals for the eyes of your resin figure. You got our color guide down there as well too. Opening this up and it's just kind of a further decal guide and color guide for the Mechatro. Over here we do also have our parts list. So we'll go through all of that. You can see the parts of the resin kits, four pieces there. The water side decals included, and then it's just all in the construction of the kit. So here's a look at the water side decal sheet. You can see you got these big ones for making like the striping sections. You got the big nerve logos, these logos here for the shoulders, uh, some of these other little different logos there. What does it say on there? Ah, caution and energy. You got some Chubu logos on there as well if you want to give it the Mechatro Chubu markings, and then your eye decals for the character figure. You've got two sets of those just in case you mess up. And so here is our resin figure. Let's take a look at these parts here. You can see basically you'll just have a little bit of cleanup to do on these, but the casting on them does of course look really nice, especially there on the face. You got the eyes, like all the details of the eyes cast on there. So whether you want to use the decals or whether you want to paint that yourself, it looks like it's going to be definitely one of the more easier ones to paint. And then just a separate piece there for our backpack. So really only a couple pieces there. Basically you can just uh, glue these all. I really wouldn't even necessarily worry about pinning any of this. It's all going to be relatively pretty simple. So I'll put this together for the review for you guys. Hang on just a minute. Just going through the rest of the runners. Here is our PC runner, PC14 in gray. Runner A here is in a bright yellow color. And the same thing here for runner B for our main color for the outer armor. Runner C is in a nice slightly orangish red color. 
And we're gonna is in a nice light gray. So just throw a little bit of wash on that. That'll look really nice to bring out some of those details. Some more light gray parts here for runner E as well. And the same thing for runner F, finishing up the rest of our kind of like mechanical parts for the kit. Runner G here is some parts in white. Runner J here is going to be some parts in black for the caps over like the shoulder and hip joints, the eyes, the top of the head there. And finally, runner K is our clear parts for like in the eyes, in like kind of the back tail lights, and up inside of the kind of heads up display, sort of inside the head there. So that's it for all the pieces. Let me go ahead and get this cutie put together and we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so here it is. And I mean, before you paint it, or at least just put the decals straight on the plastic, which I guess is something you could also do, uh, it's gonna be pretty basic. I mean, just as far as a special version of the kit, it's basically just a different color of it. There's no different parts or anything. So as we've seen with just the regular 120 scale version of this, and there's nothing really different from that. As it is already though in the yellow color scheme of the Ava Unit Zero, it does still look really cool in the color scheme. I gotta say the Mechatro we go anyway. I don't have the little clear parts in there for the eyes, just cause once those are in there, kind of impossible to get out without drilling them out from the back. And I don't necessarily want to do that. So until it gets painted, I'm just leaving those eyes out for the moment. But even with there not being that much different about the actual kit itself, it's always still fun to build these. They're a lot of fun to build and I always enjoy them. They always, they always look charming no matter what. So as for any other accessories, or anything that comes with the kit it doesn't come with anything other than what you see here and of course our little ray figure now i have gone ahead and just uh, cleaned her up and pinned her together here just so she can stay together for the time being a little bit still a, a lot of cleanup still more required but just kind of basically and then just threw some liner in there so you guys can see some of the details but there's just a look at that it's a, definitely a cool figure uh quality of the cast looks nice just going to take a little bit more sanding a little bit more cleanup just basically to get this ready but uh, as it is and it's a cool little thing to be included. You gotta imagine if you were picking this up as like just a garage kit from Wonderfest or something like that, it'd probably cost you like 30 bucks or something like just for this alone. So it's always good, it's always cool when these are included. Just go back to the kit then. Uh, I mean, you've got seam lines on a lot of these parts up here on the shoulders, here on the forearm, here on the thigh. And unfortunately it does not include the 120 scale uh, kind of child character pilot figures that you normally would get included with this. You would normally would get one of those in one of these, but unfortunately that was just on a different runner that was not included with this, sadly. So you don't have that, but I mean, it's operationally still works the same. This little platform that your 120 scale uh, figure would work on would be there. I mean, you could put your Ray figure there, but it looks a little bit weird having her hand up like that. It's she's kind of just based on her pose, kind of meant to be here, just like kind of on the side like that, right? But that, of course, just closes up. The head, of course, uh, the mouth sort of is just articulated separately, and then the little bit here on the top of the head can also be popped open. You kind of had to pop it out from the inside. A little bit tricky to get that open otherwise, but that top little hatch does also open up there like that. Mine seems to be a little bit loose, but I think I just don't have that part inside pushed on all the way. You have some other clear parts here in the back, but those are easier to take out, so I did go ahead and put those in for the moment, but you have clear parts there and then clear parts for the eyes. The arms and legs are just attached via ball joints, and then you have just some basic articulation among those, some rotation and just a single bend there at the elbow. The hands, the uh, pincers do also open up, of course, like that. You can also extend these out by just pulling them out a little bit. Just can't pull them out too far. Just a little bit like that, so it's like reaching to pick up something. You can kind of do like that with it. Uh, then down here at the legs, too, again, just kind of some basic articulation of a simple knee bend there, and then the foot's just also on a ball joint. You can kind of move that around a little bit, but I always like the detail of the feet. Got some nice detail there and some nice part separation on the top. Uh, so, I mean, the colors of everything looks really great. Obviously not a lot of detail on the outside. You could go ahead and add some more if you wanted to. You do have some more detail like up underneath this part here on the back. If you just pop off this part there, uh, that's a cool section of detail there. It's just kind of covered up. One other thing I did just want to try and demonstrate here with you guys is taking the power arms. Now, of course, you could swap out the arms on this guy if you preferred to make a Ava Unit Zero themed Mechatro with the power arms. Now obviously you don't need to switch the arms. You could just paint this one as it is because I mean everything else is the same but I think it could look pretty cool to just use the powered arms on this. You know you paint this up, put all the decals on this and then put all your decals on the powered arms as well too. Make it look like the Ava Unit Zero with the power arms there. Could be very cool. But really that is gonna be about it guys. Pretty simple kit, but it's just one for the Evangelion fans basically. If you're a fan and you don't mind having to paint that uh, little Ray figure, 
uh, if you're into that sort of thing, painting those kind of little resin GK figures, things like that. Uh, it's definitely a kit for you then. It's really cool, definitely really glad that they made this. Would have been cool though if they would have made it with some other different accessories though, like if it would have come with some sort of, like a Lance of Longinus. But then again, it can't really hold it in those pinches, so it would have had to come with some different hands. But I mean, they had the Kotobukiya uh, crossover version with the Go-Ride that came with some different hands for it. So I mean, they could have just done, I guess something like that or just made some new hands for it. Just made like a one little simple runner with just some new hand parts and like a lance part or something to go along with this I think would have been cool but you know it is what it is. It's a simple thing if it's it's just kind of for fans and collectors of Evangelion related stuff basically. So if you're a fan of Evangelion and you like these cool Mechatro cuties then they're definitely worth checking out. And really I'm wondering if they are going to make a Shinji version as well. Like I said, we've got the Asuka version still yet coming, but I don't know if they're going to make anything else more than that. Who knows? We'll have to see. But anyway, if you guys have any other further questions or comments about this kit, of course, do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all of that. You guys can check out some of these Mechatrol Wego kits and everything else there at USA Gundam Store. The link will be down below in the video description and you can save 10% off using my coupon code there as well too, Zacharelius10. That's also down there in the video description below. So, all right guys, till next time. Hope you're having a great day. See y'all later. Bye guys.